how many cryptocurrencies exist. Now the easy answer to that is 2,209 cryptocurrencies based on coinmarketcap.com. Now when I started looking and being interested in cryptocurrency, that was back in 2015 and so on, and I remember going on to different websites and looking at all the different cryptocurrencies and it was very overwhelming. So I just want to show you the different types of cryptocurrencies that exist and how top heavy the whole list is and why 2209 is definitely too many cryptocurrencies because many of them are already dead. Now I'm Kieran from CryptoBoos and I'm happy to have you here with me today. Like I said, when I started investing in, in cryptocurrency and being interested in blockchain, uh, it was it was quite intimidating to see all these different cryptocurrencies, not sure which ones to invest in and not showing ones, which ones are real, which ones are dead and so on. So first of all, when you click on the 2,209 different cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap, the, it will appear here. So here I've got 2,209 cryptocurrencies and you can click on here and you can see, oh, now just as a forewarning, this video is is done on the 25th of May 2019. Some market cap information is going to be different if you're watching this at a later date, but I hope you get the gist of it. So as you can see here, we've got a nice list of all the cryptocurrencies ordered by different criteria, market, uh, market cap price and so on. Now, there are many, many cryptocurrencies. So if you go on to other um, tracking websites, you might have a different number, but uh, uh, in a moment I'm going to show you why 2209 is not as accurate as you would think. And that's because many cryptocurrencies in uh, on the website don't even actually have any pricing information or market cap information and so on. And they're just like listed as a exclamation mark. So the thing is, one reason why we need so many different cryptocurrencies is because many different cryptocurrencies are performing a different utility on the market. So if we go to coin check up, there's a nice option here. We've got the filter and we can select the different categories. And that might give you a bit of an overview of what kind of categories uh, are, are covered. So you've got the digital currency. That's the most common category. Cryptocurrency as digital cash. And you've got platforms, payments, smart contracts such as Ethereum, AOS, NEO, and you've got privacy coins, blockchain as a service, marketplace, exchange, anonymity, cybersecurity, and so on. So you've got many different categories and not everything is digital cash. So I think that's a very important aspect to keep in mind is that you need definitely different blockchains because each one is going to be using it's going to be targeting a specific niche. Now, if you need more than a thousand different ones, that's questionable. But since the entry, the barrier to entry is so low, everyone can watch <laughs> a YouTube video in 2019 and start implementing his own cryptocurrency. There are tools with where you can just click, push a button and you can already create your own cryptocurrency. So the the barrier to entry is very low. That's why there are constantly new digital currencies uh, popping up every day. Now, if you want to invest into a, a, a project, it's of course important that you read a little bit about it. And one of the most important things that you do, apart from checking the liquidity, is that you head over to the Dead Coins website, which is a complete list of all cryptocurrencies that are deceased or uh, scams and so on. And you check that this cryptocurrency is not on this list. So that was one uh, important aspect that you have to do. Now what I did is I took the whole list from CoinMarketCap and I copied it over to Google Sheets to show you actually how top heavy the cryptocurrency market is. Now I went over to Google Sheets, copied everything in and I removed all the um, the cryptocurrencies where the value, the, the sorry, the market cap is zero. And that leaves us with a value, 
a total of 1,841 coins with the lowest market capitalization of $91 for a shade token. And afterwards what I did is I plotted a, this whole thing onto a pie chart and the result is pretty, pretty staggering. And I think that's important to note is that the top three coins, so BTC, Ethereum and XRP, so BTC has 56.6%, Ethereum has 10.8% market share, and XRP has 65, 60, <laughs> 6.5% market share, and total is around 73%. So the top three have a 73% of the total market cap, total cryptocurrency market cap, and I think that's just mind blowing. And if you take the, the, the top 25 or even 10, I think if you take the top 10, you're around 85%. And then with the top 25 cryptocurrencies, you're going to be at 90% of the total market cap. And I think this is very important to, to, to realize because first of all, cryptocurrency is a very, very risky asset class to invest in. And by, by trying to catch the new, yeah, trying to catch some some pumps for from cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies that are not so known and like on the 500s position is the same risk as buying a lottery ticket. So I think you you should be aware that cryptocurrency as a whole is a risky endeavor and investment anyway. So it's much better to to stick to like the top hundred coins and be aware that uh, investing in coins that are like in the top 500 top thousand and so on is even riskier and uh, the 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 risk is not worth the profit like many of those they just they're just going to probably die soon lose liquidity and so on lose all their value but i think what i wanted to just to show is is how top heavy the the whole market cap is and just show the a bit of the yeah how how it's how how the the market is uh, split up between the the top ten cryptocurrencies. So here we've got XRP with six point five, Bcash with two point nine, and I think it's also quite interesting that even among the 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 tenth position, like Cardano, has only got a uh, let's find it yeah zero point eight percent of the whole cryptocurrency market capitalization and that's just ridiculously small in my opinion in the next five or oh, next few years this this market this market cap um distribution is going to be a bit more even but in my opinion it's going to be among the the, the top 25 so like since we're now in a bitcoin rally like a bitcoin cycle then the, cap the domin bitcoin dominance is going to be much higher than the rest and during the altcoin rally the bitcoin dominance loses in percentage significantly during the altcoin season so that was it for this short video on how many cryptocurrencies there are showing a bit the distribution and market capitalization I think it's important to just look at it with an open mind and just even though it's risky, make sure you don't take too much risk upon yourself and speculate on lower, lower coins, thinking that you'll be the next millionaire with a hundred US dollar investment. Uh, in my opinion, it's much better to have a bit of a, even though it's a, a, a lower profit, if you look at all the different asset classes, a 10% or a 15% return investment per year on your uh, investments is fantastic numbers. So other other assets, a 7% return investment is incredibly good. So in my opinion, sticking to the top 25, top 50 coins, even top 100 coins is is good enough for me. So that was it for today. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.